Welcome back everyone. Once again, Scott here, and this is our one year and one month update of our infamous paint protection film longevity test, along with the mustard test and a check with a gloss meter. I'll leave the last 30 days weather that this hood has been exposed to up on your screen, as well as the lifetime weather that it has seen. Most of you know the drill by now, but for those of you just joining us, the process goes something like this. First, we'll foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, let it dwell, rinse it off, foam it again, and then wash it before rinsing things off. We'll then dry it with our MetroVac Master Blaster 8 horsepower dryer using heated, filtered air, and then of course we will inspect it. If you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with these tests, I've been doing tests like these for the last six years now. This panel sits outside of our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the East Texas elements, and we will wash and inspect it on a monthly basis until we're tired of doing this. I have other tests with different products running right now alongside this one, so please go and check those out. If you hasn't, haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Hit that bell icon, get notification when a new update goes live. Here's our mustard test. A generic mustard going to do a streak across all eight films then a little dot of mustard on each. Can you smell this? I can. I'm not a mustard fan. We're gonna let it wash, uh, let it wash. We're gonna let it sit there and dry for about an hour. And then we're gonna come back and rinse it. See how bad the staining is. This, I would expect this to be very similar to the marker staining where we used a permanent marker and then let it clear up on its own after washing. But maybe not. You have to remember too, this film is a one year and one month old of sitting outside 24 seven, except for Hexus. Hexus is one year old, it's 30 days behind. So we'll go ahead and rinse everything off before we wash it again and see who's doing the best or worst in this case. Don't know how often you would get mustard on the film of your car if you had paint protection film however this seems to be a test that a lot of people like to do in their advertising so I wanted to check it out for myself and see how everything held up so flexi shield you can see it has some staining going on there the very next one is Lumar SunTech almost none very well done Expel ultimate has a slight bit premium shield has a pretty significant amount of staining to it 3M, or I'm sorry, that's s -Tech. It has some 3M, not as bad. Ceramic Pro is pretty bad. And Hexus has none. So if you were going to rank them 1, 2, 3, it would probably be Hexus, Lumar, 3M in that order for stain resistance. That's with no washing. So you can see the dots and the line on them. SunTech, Lumar, nearly gone. Expel has some premium shield. So the worst the worst three are probably premium shield, S Tech, and Ceramic Pro Kavaka as far as the stain resistance. So now we'll go ahead and wash it again. We'll see if that changes anything. And then of course we'll pull it inside after we dry it off and we'll look at it up close and personal outside of the sun. In my experience with the previous stain test with the marker, it a lot of it may not clear up right at first but it will as time goes on. I'm not sure how or why that happens. That's not really my wheelhouse, but it does clear up. So there, after washing, Premium Shield has a slight bit, but it is better. Lumar is completely gone. Xpel is nearly gone. Premium Shield still has some staining. Aztec, nearly gone. 3M, nearly gone. Kavaka has some significant staining. Hex is completely gone. So it did lighten up just a little bit using the wash. Now we bring it inside, look at everything again. And just for reference, this is about a day later So I filmed all my updates on the very last weekend of March. And this hood, I actually brought it inside for two days. So still, still some significant staining on Premium Shield and Kavaka, Hexus was completely gone. And I don't know if that's because the film's a year younger. I don't think so, or a year, a month younger, not sure. Uh, here's our Elcometer 480 dual angle gloss meter. 20 degree, which is the top number, that's what you wanna look at 
freshly painted vehicles are usually in the 90s, mid, mid to low 90s. So this film, as it ages, it's going to lose some of its gloss. So I'm checking it on the white panel and the black panel so you can see the difference. Again, we're paying attention to the top number here. And this meter has to be on a perfectly flat surface or it'll do that. So, full disclosure, I'm still learning this meter. So, I'm uh, it, it is calibrated. Expel is significantly glossier so far when it's hitting around 90. Premium Shield's pretty good, 85. So when I was talking to the manufacturer about this meter, the difference of two gloss units is insignificant. So if you have a panel that reads 85 and then one that reads 87, that's nearly no, no difference. So there's your example, a, uh, 86 on 3M, 88. So that's essentially the same. Ceramic Pro, 61 and 71 so there there is some measurable difference there hexus we're over at 82 and 91 so again I just picked up this gloss meter so I don't have a basis for it you know I didn't check the gloss with this meter when we first started but just for reference you can see the five s tech dyno carbons dyno prisms they're a matte you can see the number is very low. That's a that's a gloss, and that's a gloss. There you go. So it looks like as far as gloss goes, the best by far appears to be Expel Ultimate, and the worst is probably Ceramic Pro Kavaka. That's uh that's what I'm seeing there. So we have an Audi RS6 Avant in our shop right now that has brand new Expel Ultimate on the front of it that we did not install. And again, it has to be on a flat surface, so that didn't read right. 90.2, that's pretty spot on, 89.9. .9. Pretty spot on with uh, what it's showing on our hood too. So that's, uh, that's pretty impressive that you can have brand new film. This film is about two weeks old and something that's been sitting outside for well over a year and it reads nearly the same gloss level. So well done, Expel, in that regard. There you go, there's right back at it. So just wanted to start introducing this meter into some of my tests, especially any new test going forward, as it is a, another way we can measure things. So there you go guys, appreciate it. Please subscribe, stay tuned for the following updates.